you too. So we are going to be learning about instructions properly this week. I'm very excited. So today we're going to be looking at what are the features of an instructional text because we need to know them before we can write one. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to tell me that you know what an instruction text is, that you can tell me some examples and which features you'd expect to find if I gave you some instructions to read. So you might want to remind yourself of these things before we get started. So have a think. What are command sentences? Hmm. What are imperative verbs? What's the job of an adverb? And what do you already know about instructions? So you might want to pause the video and have a chat about these questions with someone at home or in school with you. So hopefully you've had a little bit of time to think about all of those questions and what makes a set of a good, you know, good set of instructions. So what we're going to do now is have a look at an example. And I don't this is an all right example. It's not a great example. And we're going to pick out some of the features. So here you can see we have some instructions to explain to someone how they could make some gingerbread men. So I'm going to show you the features that are in this one and then we'll have a chat about why we need those. So first of all, you can see the blue box is around the title. Every set of instructions needs a title so you know if you made it what you're going to end up with. Then we have a list of what you'll need so that when you're getting ready to make it in advance, you can get everything out that you'll want. Next, you can see here that the steps of the instructions have got numbers next to them. Now, some instructions will have bullet points instead, and this one's got numbers. Either of them, I think, are great, as long as it's step by step. Then I've just put a box around one example here, but this one starts with a command sentence. It's got an imperative verb at the start, so they are all command sentences. You can see we've got mix, add, and mix again, but I've just shown you put on this one. And then here, until it is crumbly, this is working like an adverb that we talked about last week. It's telling you a bit more detail about what to do in that command sentence. So one thing that I think is missing there is uh, an explanation in the introduction. So it needs an introduction to explain. So, oh, follow this recipe and you could make some delicious gingerbread men. It's so easy just to try and persuade you to think, oh, yeah, I'd really love to make some gingerbread man. In fact, it's making me a little bit hungry right now. So you can go back in the video and watch those features again if you like. But I have done a list here of what I think makes a good set of instructions. So just to go through it again, a title so we know what we're doing. An introduction to persuade us that this is a good idea following these instructions. A list of what you'll need so you can get it all ready in advance, like to be organised. Bullet points or numbered steps so it's broken down and easy to follow. Imperative verbs in command sentences, we've got to be bossy, remember. Adverbs to tell us how to do it. So if we're mixing, how are we mixing? We need to mix carefully or we need to mix slowly or quickly or whatever. So in your home learning pack are five sets of different instructions, not the ones about elves, but all of the other ones. There are five sets. And what I'd like you to do is I want you to read through them. You can read them with a grown up and decide are these good instructions I want you to read through them and look for these six things that I've just talked about and if you find an example of that in those instructions you're going to give it a point so if it has a title it gets one point if it's got a list of what you'll need you'll give it a point for that and for each thing on the slide you will see you need to give one point so for my gingerbread men instructions I would give that a score of five out of six because it didn't have an introduction to the task, but it did have everything else. You don't need to make what's in the instructions. You're just going to read them and decide, is this a good example of instructions? OK, so each set of instructions can get a score out of six. So just to summarise, in your home learning pack or on teams are five sets of instructions to score out of six. You don't need to make them. Don't panic, mums and dads. You've not got to make anything. So only use the instructions that are labelled as Monday and make a note of each score that you give to each set of instructions because 
at the end of this English lesson, I would love to know which instructions you gave the highest scores to, which ones are the best instructions. If you want to send us some pictures of you doing some reading and scoring the instructions, you can send them to the email address at the bottom of this slide. So if you're not sure, watch the video again. Remember, we're looking for good instructions. Give them a score out of six and I hope you enjoy it.